Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general daily message for November 14th, uh, Wednesday, 2018. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So for whomever this is meant for is quite an interesting spread. Uh, we're just going to go right into it here. We're going to neglect my daughter texting me right now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off first with the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is known for communication in regards to an offering, in regards to balance, love, happiness, okay? Um, I feel that this is also known for, to me anyway, is not known, known as an apology, which is what I'm really, really feeling here in regards to this card. I feel that somebody uh, is going to be offering this communication, this apology to someone. They're going to come in, uh, this person is, this other person, the opposing person, is not going to see this coming in, okay? Now you can pick up the energy also of, I'm not taking your offer, buddy. <laughs> That's what I also feel with this. But I feel that there's definitely a new beginning, I feel, in regards to that apology, that offering, that communication, that offering of that love of that cup, okay? There's definite movement here because right after that four of cups is the eight of wands. So this is coming in quickly, especially with the outcome cards here. That definitely tells me that, okay? This is definitely coming in. This person may not see that because of the, uh, possibly the slowness in the past of this relationship, but more so it's going to come in so fast that it's just going to knock your socks off kind of thing, okay? And not going to be seeing this, all right, with this movement. Now, that movement is, I feel, in regards to communication, and I'll show you in a minute. But first, we have the Emperor here. So the Emperor is known as uh, an Aries, so that is Aries uh, energy here. But regardless, the Emperor is a major arcana. He is known for... Um, kind of like a controlling energy normally, okay? Now, I always go with what I'm feeling here, and his eyes are literally shifted over. When I first put this card down, I literally felt not fear, but kind of like worried is what I'm more feeling here. It's kind of like, I'm going to put in this effort. I'm going to have this movement, but you're looking over at this. Whoever this is for is literally looking over at this movement. Like, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Are they going to take my offer? You know, because this person, I clarified the eight of wands. Yes. No, I clarified the emperor. I apologize. Uh, with the eight of pentacles here. Okay. Uh, in, in regards to the emperor. So this emperor, this, um, He's kind of like the, it's wild because I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here. The Empress is showing up. So this is a divinely guided couple. This is a twin flame. This is meant to be, okay, a uh, relationship here, okay. Uh, they just said that fell on heart, on hardship. That fell on hardship. Meaning that this is this has not been an easy journey, okay? But this has been definitely divinely guided, I feel, with the emperor and the empress here, okay? Th these people are supposed to be together, okay? I feel that this movement is, is in regards to this person is going to be putting in this work, okay? That eight of pentacles is that new start. You see him working on that one pentacle. That's that new start of this balance back into this relationship, okay? That's why this person is taking that one pentacle that he's putting in this work, okay? For this movement in regards to communication and offering it to them in regards to that page. That page is known for that messenger, that communication in regards to, hey, let's have a new start and get this balance back in. I do feel that this person with this love offer with that four of cups energy, it's going to come out of nowhere. I feel that there's a little bit of concern in regards to the, I'm just going to call them the male energy. Now it can take any which way that you like, okay? Whoever is going to be putting in this work to offer that apology, to offer that cup of love to them again, okay, is a little nervous. But yet they're very determined too, I feel. Spunky. So it's kind of like, no, I want this. You know, no, I'm very, you know, I'm very determined. I'm coming in quickly, okay? I'm going to put in this work into this relationship now. I'm going to apologize with that page of pentacles. Here's my cup of love. Are you going to take it? That's the concern. Are you going to take it? You know, that I feel from this emperor energy. Because this person wants to move forward with the six of swords energy here, okay? With not just um, getting out of that choppy waters, you know, in regards to the stress of the situation that, uh, I can't remember the term that they just said, 
right before this. Hardship, thank you. This hardship that they went through in a relationship here flies right out of my head. But also to move in regards to communication, okay, with that sword energy. Swords represent not just thoughts, uh, turmoil, mental anguish kind of thing, but also communication. And that's what I'm really feeling here, okay? There, uh, this wild because right underneath that page of pentacles is the two of wands, okay? So the two of wands, when, <laughs> when I first put this card down, I literally heard, I'm not going to sing because it's still morning. I got the whole world in my hands song, okay? Uh, I heard the tune and the music playing and everything going off there. So it's kind of like the feeling that I'm getting is that the two of wands is known for, okay, they have a new start. They keep talking and they keep saying new start. They got a new start. They got a new start. So they have this new start now in their life. And now they're taught, they have to make a decision because they got the whole world. It's kind of like, it's the feeling of, it's kind of like, <clears throat> that's a terrible example. When I graduated, I know this is kind of warped, but they're throwing this in my head. So when I graduated from high school, a long time ago, um, I woke up that next morning and I'm like, I don't have to, it was like Monday. I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I had the whole world in my hands. You know, I had my whole future ahead of me and I had no idea. I had to decide. That's that feeling. You know, you got the whole world in your hand. What are you going to do? You know, make that decision because now you have a whole new world out there. Okay. Uh, and I feel that this person... This emperor is thinking about their empress, their divinely guided person in their life, okay? What am I going to do about this relationship? What am I going to do about my significant other, my divinely guided feminine energy or vice versa? You know, what am I going to do about my counterpart, basically, that I know that I'm supposed to be with, okay? And that's what it is. It's kind of like they now have this opportunity, this chance, they just said chance, to make that decision to be with their empress, okay? Uh... The Empress is a very grounded, sorry, I was just listening. The Empress is a very grounded individual. I feel that this person wants movement. In this deck in particular, she's sitting in what I call the, the cart, okay? I always refer to her as the Mrs. of the Chariot. Everybody has different ways to interpret cards here. That's definitely the way that I do with her, okay? So it's kind of like he's turned his energy looking, or she, turned his energy looking at this, you know, I want this groundedness. I want this movement with this person who I know I'm supposed to be with. I have to make this decision decision now they keep saying free they're free now they're free now somebody freed themselves from a situation now and now has change of thoughts they just said change of thoughts of uh, to go towards what they want and they're deciding they're thinking about this person as well they're deciding and what they're deciding is is literally right above that two of wands is to offer that apology offer that pentacle they're putting in this work okay this is this is amazing actually the emperor energy here the counterpart of the empress okay he wants to put in this work into building on that balance building on that new start okay that's why this person is deciding to who they were thinking of in regards to their counterpart their divine guided person in their life is to offer that apology offer that about uh, balance back into this so it's basically saying to me this is somebody from their past as well I want to throw that in there six of cups is known for somebody from your past okay absolutely see look right above that is the four of cups so this empress uh, is somebody that is somebody from their past and they want to reconcile they want to communicate they want to offer that balance back into it and they want to offer their cup of love to somebody from their past they just said to uh, reduce so you take the six of cups and the four you take the four of cups and the uh, the six of cups energy and you get the two of cups so there's definitely a relationship here that two of cups is that relationship this person wants a relationship okay and i feel that this person oh okay okay gotcha this person from the past this empress energy okay has been left out in the dark of the unknown as to where this relationship is went where to go you know 
that energy of the high priestess is known of, of the uh, unknown, okay, secret keeper kind of thing, that they've been waiting. I clarified the high priestess with the nine of pentacles. So they've been waiting for this for quite some time, okay? They've been definitely waiting for this offer, this love offer, for this movement, okay? Literally waiting for this full card, which is that new start, okay? And I feel that the emperor, because the emperor is right above it here, the two major arcanas, huge message in itself. The emperor is taking control over the situation, putting in that work for a new beginning in regards to this relationship. Absolutely. To have this relationship for this movement and not just getting away from that turmoil that they've been going through, I feel, but as well as in regards to communication, in regards to the lovers here. That decision is made to move forward, okay, in this relationship with balance back in that is being offered through this communication, I feel, okay? I feel with the outcome card, yeah, the Knight of Swords, air qual energy here, I forgot to mention, uh, Gemini energy here. Regardless, there it is. There's that communication. Normally, I would say that uh, the Knight is that sort of pace. No, it's not what I'm feeling here. They're rushing back. They are definitely rushing back with this communication. Hence why that eight of wands, they don't mess around. You know, that's that fast movement, pretty fast. Pretty fast to rush on back and communicate, which is gonna cause that tower moment. It's kind of like that shock factor, you know, of where'd you come from, son? You know, that fast, that's gonna shake things up with how fast that this person is coming back to speak this truth with that ace of swords. There's that new beginning of that ace. Sorry, they were just saying something. I want to make sure. The Ace of Swords is that new beginning of that truth, of that clarity. And I clarified it again with the Justice card, Libra energy here. But regardless, there's that truth. That truth will set them free, okay, in regards to bringing balance. It's all about the balance today, you know. So bottom line is this. What I feel is, bottom line, there's going to be some type of decision. This person has been seriously thinking about their counterpart, okay, uh, in regards to somebody that is divinely guided for them, they are going to offer that pinnacle and that cup of love after quite some time. This person's not going to see it coming in with that eight of wands very fast. I do feel that somebody is taking control over the situation, meaning the emperor energy, and putting in this work now into this relationship. So that way that they can offer this, okay? Um, there is going to be that movement in regards to this relationship, meant to be, absolutely meant to be relationship here. They think about this person a lot from their past, okay? They realize that this person, their counterpart, doesn't know what's going on, okay? They're kind of left out in the dark. They've been waiting for this new beginning. Both of them have. They both have been. And there's going to be a choice made in regards to... Uh, I'm feeling it's the Empress. I feel that that, especially with the two of wands here clarified by the Empress, this, basically this, this Emperor is coming in, offering that apology, offering that love. It's going to come in quickly. There's going to be movement. But with that cup of love, it's in the ballpark field of what are you going to decide? Not the Emperor, the Empress, okay? The counterpart here, okay? As to what they have to say in regards to somebody from their past, all right? That this person's been waiting for them, basically kind of feeling left out in the dark for this new beginning. And now all of a sudden it comes out of nowhere. So you have to think about things to make that decision, the Empress, what I'm feeling here. But this is meant to be. This is definitely meant to be. They've been waiting, both of them. Both of them have been waiting. Oh. The, the, I'm not sure which one pick what resonates. I'm feeling more feminine energy, though, for some reason. The, uh, the, uh, this and this, okay? The High Priestess is a very spiritual card, okay? So she knows. She's very intuitive, okay? And she's been waiting. She knows that this new beginning is coming. That's wild. That was an extra bonus there message. But somebody out there knows that this new beginning that they've been waiting for intuitively knows that there's going to be this new beginning with their emperor, with their counterpart here. They know. They flat out know. And they've been waiting for this, for this movement. And I feel that the emperor is definitely going to be coming back, rushing on back real, real fast to clear things up, clear the air. They just said clear the air, which is funny because swords is air. But, and then the justice card to bring balance back into this again is what I'm feeling. So that is what I have. <laughs> Interesting spread. Always. I love what I do. 
Yeah, that was a strong message. Somebody is seriously intuitive out there that knows that there is going to be movement. That movement is going to lead uh, from the emperor, their counterpart, for this new beginning. They're just waiting for it. But they know, they intuitively know that there's this movement for this new beginning. That's pretty wild. Good, good. Everybody should be in touch with their intuitive side. Absolutely, everybody has it. Just got to practice it. You know, so keep listening to your intuition, whoever this is meant for, because I really feel that somebody is rushing on back. You're still going to be shocked when they come back, you know, as to what they have to say or how fast that they're coming in, how spunky. I feel a lot of spunkiness. That emperor is very spunky, very determined. It is a fire sign. So I love fire signs, but they're very determined people. They know exactly what they want, you know, and they're going for it. So that is what I have for you. I was just listening to any more messages. That's what I have for whomever this is meant for. You guys have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel as well. as Click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies as well as dailies. You guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.